Hi guys, I'm Max and this is Sophie and welcome back to our van build. This week we are looking at our bathroom. Finally we get to box it out and we're wanting to create our own little room in our van. So let's get to it. It's Monday. Monday. We're back yeah. for another week. Another week of van build. We need to go through our big list and take some things off. So we have, I don't know, we haven't done this in such a long time, have we? Bathroom. Bathroom is going to be our next big thing, we think. So this stuff's all going to get sorted. Hey, we're not doing bad. No. Getting so, some stuff ticked off. Yeah, a few more bits and pieces to do. We're getting there. So, bathroom this week? Sounds good. But before we do that, we need to uh, tidy the heck out of this van. It is a mess, and obviously this is a really small space, so we need to have it clear before we can get to work. So, five minute tidier. <laughs> So that is much better now. We can actually get in to the bathroom. So I think the first thing we're gonna look at is the floor. So for the floor, we're gonna use a bit of 18 mil ply, which I've been using as a table for the last couple of months. So I've cleared it all off. So I'm gonna go grab it on our worktop and we can look at measuring it all out and seeing what we're gonna do with it. So there it is, we need to get measuring up now. So we're gonna start just by measuring up the space that we've got. Um, we're doing a bit of a funky shape because we're using this as storage next to our toilet. And we also have an overhang at this end for our cladding for this underside here, which is kind of next to the shower tray. So we're uh, just giving it a good measure. So my dad and I put together a template, but it's not up to Max's standards. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> we, we used a piece of wood that was too small, so we kind of just had written on it like, Add two centimetres here and cut this here. We'll still use it. I'm just checking a few key measurements. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, template number two. I'm going to do more flipping foil taping. You, every time you think you're finished, it comes back to haunt you. Um, I need to make sure the vapor barrier is sealed at the bottom down here um, and that we've cut away the excess because obviously the floor actually sits on top of the wheel arch. So. Let's do that. That's now sealed up like a Christmas turkey. It is full of foil <laughs> and uh, no vapour is going to be getting up in there. Let's go see what Max is doing. Max has officially declared summer. Shorts are on. Definitely shorts weather. 16 degrees. It's getting up to today. Going to get sweaty. <laughs> Here is our second template. Actually, this is the first one. This is me and my dad's one. And here we have the additional extra pieces you can see added on. So um, we're gonna cut the proper one out and this is actually gonna be the real life floor. 18 mil, solid as a rock. We're gonna have a bathroom floor, yay. <laughs> Max is gonna cut that out and I've been in here doing some skinning of our little mini storage units they're going to be under here we're probably just going to be putting toilet roll and stuff in here but these ones you're going to access from the front and this one is going to be part of the toilet box in here where we keep our i don't know what is it coconut husk sawdusty stuff all the stuff for our uh, composting toilet First fit time. I hope this fits. We need Sophie's and her dad's template. Hey, hey, and hey, hey, you remeasured everything. This is on you. That's what I'm saying. We've, <laughs> we've combined that with my measurements. Oh, okay. So hopefully between the three of us, <laughs> it should. I fit. thought you were just casually throwing us no, under the bus. No, not at all. <laughs> and to notch out that, like you said. 
Yeah, where the angle bracket is. No, I'll just let it twist up that much. But hey, it's in. And it's solid. Yeah. So that's your bedroom, yeah? <laughs> yeah, just about. You can live in there. Thanks. Now you can stand up, almost. Uh, I, I'm like really close to being able to stand up in this bit. I've got loads of room here. <laughs> right, let's get that bit taken out for the angle bracket and then fit it again. One last little bit of tidying up and I think we've got it now, so. Last time testing it and I think we'll be done. <laughs> last time's the charm, huh? Third time lucky. It's just because we built the uh, frame of the bathroom and it's ever so slightly not straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shower tray is not straight in the van because it's pushed up against the wall of the van, which is not straight, obviously. So yeah. I'm really happy with that. Awesome. Obviously that back edge we're going to be cladding down to, so you're not really going to see it anyway. So that's much neater along there. We're neat on the front edge and we're neat on that edge. So all of the live edges that we're going to see are spot on. It's pretty solid. <laughs> pretty solid, huh? It's as solid as the van. <laughs> now that floor is dry fitted in, we thought we'd just talk you through what we are planning on doing with our bathroom. We are going to have a kind of shower and toilet situation. It is not a wet room, it is two separate things. So down this end, we're gonna aqua panel these two walls. We are then gonna put a ply wall up on this side to you know, get that bend in, because it's all kind of funky shapes up here. And we are then gonna vinyl around this side here, these three sides. Um, we're actually using vinyl flooring. It's an experiment. It's 100% waterproof. Who knows if it's gonna work? Touch wood, it will. Um, and then back on this side, we're gonna sort of wooden clad these two um, sides, build a toilet box here. We're gonna put like a little cabinet up and we're gonna have a little hatch in here for our dirty laundry. It is gonna be a pretty cool little, little space, hopefully. And we're also gonna make our own shower, um, like, what are they called? <laughs> Tabs? Tabs? Faucet? Contraption? Pipework. Pipework. Shower pipework. We're going to make it. Max has bought himself some copper piping and a, a bender, so we're going to bend some pipes. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of days, I think. New skills. Lots of new skills. So on these two straight walls, we are going to be using this, which is aqua panelling. It is 100% waterproof. So we just need to make sure we seal the edges and no water is going to be seeping out into our van. We actually bought a corner piece. So the first piece is going to go like a 90 degree angle up and down here. So Max is just measuring the height and we'll go cut that. Cut number one. Gotta do this straight one first. Straight one's probably easier. So we were a little bit worried about um, the right angledness of our building, but we're really happy the right angle has gone in. And now we're gonna attach it in, so we're gonna screw it in through the waterproof panel into the timber frame using wood screws and also one of these washers that comes with the product just to stop you kind of driving the screw the whole way through. Shout out to the guy who invented magnetic screw holders. This little tray is literally the best thing in the world. <laughs> is now in. We've used these special washers to make sure our screws don't pull through the panelling and we're now going to do our steps. We have a step here which is from where our toilet box will be down into our shower which is where our shower curtain will hang and we need to fill this in here with aqua panel and then the floor kind of has a lip that rests up to it so let's go cut that piece. <laughs> 
The best thing about using this aqua panel is that it is so, so light. It is way lighter than plywood or um, anything else we sort of found that we should do the walls in. So we're, uh, yeah, we're lucky that we're using it. What is That's it? That's our little return piece up for our step. It's a B8. She's a beauty. <laughs> You look like, you know, like when someone's naked and they have those like sensor lines over them. <laughs> so we slightly underestimated how many of these little washer things for this board that we needed. We're going to have to run out and get some more because we've only got <laughs> eight left and we probably need. 20? Yeah, to be honest, we bought these a very long time ago. We, we literally, did. we were like, we'll just throw those in and we'll see if we need them. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, off to... So lunch, dinner, yeah. screw fix, CEF, B&Q, yeah. combo trip. Go out and get everything ticked off our list. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Quite a while, actually. Yeah, we've, we've been able to sort of been... fight off the urge to visit. <laughs> and to be fair, Screwfix and Tool Station as well, we've not been to this week yet. Yeah, we've been doing well. I mean, it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it's looking busy. So we're coming here for our little washes and I want to have a look at some orange paint. Forgotten how to put on. <laughs> I've come up with an idea for our cabinet doors, which requires some some painting, so. Let's go find some. Success. Great success. We've picked up a couple, well, we picked up two tubs of paint. One was a big one for more of our nice fancy paint that we're using to finish off stuff. It's not fancy paint, it's literally <laughs> being cute bathroom paint, but it's a nice color. And we've got a tester for our orange. Yeah. So we'll see if we like that. The back of the kitchen unit and one of the seat boxes is visible when you open the sliding doors. So I've come up with a design to go on the back of there. So, yeah. To make it a feature. A feature, very fancy. So that was a success. Where are we off to now? Uh, tool station and screw fix, because you can't do one without the other. <laughs> and then back to the locker. Then back to the van. Okay. It's the final star. Last one of the day. Good old screw fix over here. So we are back. We have all of our things. We have our Sikaflex to stick our vinyl flooring onto the walls. We've got our little magical washer things. We've got some colour match paint that Sophie wants to do to test her um, cupboard door theming ideas. And we've also got some bolts and some clear varnish. So we go, oh, and our general paint that we're using on every wall and every surface there is in the van. Another one, we've got a few of them already. So we'll go get this back in there and then we will carry on with our bathroom. So now that we have this corner piece in, the next section is to go from the corner, oh, and we also put that little step piece in. The next piece is go from the corner piece up to the edge of where the door's gonna to come to. So we need to put the floor down in the bathroom again first that we made yesterday and secure it down in place um, because this wall's going to kind of go around that, um, but I'm going to measure up, measure it all up, and get it cut and ready. Install the floor, and Sophie's going to insulate around the wheel arch, and we can get it all locked in place. It's like fluffy clouds. Is that going to make a difference? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so now that Sophie has beautifully insulated around that wheel arch, it's time to screw the floor down. So we've notched that corner out the bottom held it up next to this wooden, drawn a line down to cut it so it's flush with this door. So now it's time to fit it in place. Put it in at the bottom, there at the top. So yeah, there we go. Now it's time to screw this one in. We 
we are just measuring up for our final piece. Now this is attached and our wall has suddenly got a hell of a lot stronger, which is good. I want to clad it on the outside too. It's going to be nice and sturdy. We still need to do this wall though. Not our final, final piece. <laughs> Pretty impressed with that. We've got the floor in on the first wall today. We've got two walls to achieve tomorrow. And we need to do a whole lot of sealing up and waterproofing. Mm, exciting. We are back after a nice refreshing night's sleep and we are going to be looking at the bigger wall in our bathroom today. Now that's not going to be aqua panel because we need a nice curve in it. So we're going to be looking at some 5mm ply and uh, it's going to give us a nice strong base to put our vinyl on. Turns out the shape of our bathroom is a little bit more complicated than we first thought. We also have an issue that we only have one sheet of 5mm ply left, like a full sheet. And also the entrance to our bathroom is really tiny. So any big sheets are going to have a really difficult time actually getting them into the bathroom. So we're going to try and go as big as we can. And then if we need to cut them down, we're going to have to cut them down. Which we inevitably will. Which we will have to, I'm sure. But, you know, we're going to try anyway. <laughs> So we're about to attempt something really stupid, which is trying to get this through that door. Not a chance. It's just not going to happen, but you know, it's worth a try. So obviously that didn't work. <laughs> um, so let's go cut it in half and try again. So now we're doing it how we thought we were going to do it, which is in vertical strips. So we're just measuring this one down to cut it in half to do it in vertical strips. Vertical strips is the name of the game. If I'm not saying it enough, we're doing it in a vertical strips. Take two, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's too tall. But, okay. But that's okay. So we're making some battens to go against the wall so that our bend in our ply works with our shower tray. We're just having to countersink them because they're really big screens we're gonna to need to use. And obviously the wall needs to be as flat as possible. We have Cut our ply. Oh wait, I got distracted. We've cut our ply. Are you distracted by my Birkenstocks and socks? <laughs> my Rock and roll! <laughs> my socks have people dancing in the rain on. Stop. Very rock and roll. We've cut our bit of ply. It is... How many times did we take it in and out of the van? Too many. A lot of times. But it is now good. We've put our batten in at the bottom. Um, and that means it goes perfectly to where we need it to be on the tray. And uh, we get screw it in. Rock and roll. Almost forgot, but just before we screw it in, Sophie is patching up all of the holes that I stabbed in the vapour barrier before we hide them away forever. So Sophie's taping over them. She's in a bit of then. a stabby mood, apparently. <laughs> Few holes. <laughs> Being taped over, and then we'll screw this bad boy in. One. Yeah, I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, wasn't it? Yeah. Piece number two. Two. Thinking in three dimension is not my strong point. <laughs> you have any strong points? No, I don't. That's a joke. You have lots, darling. <laughs> it's a good job you've got lots, really. So we need to take ten mil off the top of this one so that it'll fit on the curve. And uh. Hopefully it'll go in without any faff. Don't say that. <laughs> well, we can we can hope and pray. How 
How much do you hate this piece of plot? Well, now it's in and it looks all right, not at all, but for the last hour. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Our issue was around about here. Um, it That's wobbles smooth, a little bit, though. but it is pretty smooth now. So. Yay! Final little strip to go, and then that's that wall done. And guess what? We have enough five mil ply! Boom! Last piece of ply! Going in here! Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there. There's a couple of mil of imperfectiony bits between it, but I think by the time we've put the um, adhesive on that we're going to be sticking the vinyl on with, and then the vinyl's also five or six mil with the foam back. I think we'll lose any bumps. We might like gaffer tape all the seams or foil tape or something first, just to help bind it together a bit. But yeah, that is our nice curve in here. It's obviously a bit cosy, but always was gonna be. Yeah, really happy with that. It's nice. We now need to finish off the aqua paneling in the corner of the shower room. So we need to cut, well, we're going to cut a 40 centimeter strip. We're then going to scribe it into the corner, into the round bit. And then hopefully it's just going to fit in perfectly without trying. I mean, nothing else we have done today has done that. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky with the last piece. We've just cut this curve into this next piece of aqua panel using this little scribe that I've made up. So we just used it up against the wall um, and followed that line to give us the curve of the side of the van to make this piece, which is fitted in nicely. It actually went in first time, guys. Yeah. I, I didn't have faith and it worked. <laughs> it so we beautiful. just need to screw that in, do the same with the top bit, and then the shower end is done. Should we screw it in? Let's screw. Now for the last little tiny bit in that corner, getting our scribe on again, and it should all come together beautifully. And that is that in, all secure, screwed in place. It's a bit echoey in here now. We have our shower. Mm -hmm. So shower tray, ply on this wall, aqua panel on these two walls, all to be waterproofed over, and then a form of adhesive, and we're sticking on our vinyl matting, foam back stuff. So after yesterday's win, our job for today is what? The next two walls. We've got two walls left in our bathroom and they are going to be up the toilet end. So yes. let's get on to it. I think we're going to start struggling with light in there. So uh, we might have to figure out uh, an illumination technique. <laughs> Fairly sharpish. So we're just putting a, another batten in at the bottom so that our ply doesn't, you know, get kicked in. It'll have something to go into. Now that's all done, we need to do the ply wall. Now we have a buttload of three mil ply. So I think we're gonna do it in three mil and if it's not strong enough, we'll double layer it. So it'll be like six mil, but made of three mil. So we just dry fitted this wall in and we've gone with uh, two lots of three mil thickness just to uh, add a bit of sturdiness to it. It was a bit thin after just one, um, but that's all scribed down with a nice curve and everything. Um, so we are going to glue the two together um, and kind of screw them all in place all at the same time. We're just going to use a cheap contact adhesive to sort of stick these two panels together. We are going to screw through both of them into the wood, um, but we just wanted to eliminate any sort of rattle or shake that might go on when we're driving. So that is our wall glued and screwed and in nice and tight. It's all pretty solid. So now we just have this final wall, this return piece to go and that's the bathroom all boarded out. This last section that we are adding in on this return wall is a little bit different because it has a socket in it. So we are just cutting out the hole in the ply before we attach it for the socket. So it's all uh, nice and ready to be wired up. So there we have our hole that our back box is going to be behind. Let's go see if it fits. So it does all fit with the socket, but it is uh, our full size piece is so wedged in here. I can't actually get it out to cut it. So I'm gonna glue them together, install them, and then use our multi-tool just to jam a hole in from the other side. I 
And that is us in. It's a bit dark on the inside to see, but that is that wall attached and nice and sturdy. We just need to uh, cut out that hole for that socket. And then I think that's the bathroom shell done. <laughs> So all I have now is that back box cut out. Um, it's not the neatest thing in the world, but it will do because it will all be covered up nicely. So that is the shell of our bathroom complete. Um, it's all ready to be waterproofed and looked after in all those kind of ways, but you're gonna have to wait until next week to see that. So we're gonna have to leave it there for this week, but next week we will be waterproofing the bathroom and putting vinyl on the walls and painting some walls, running electrics, building a toilet box for a composting toilet. It's a lot going Doing some on. plumbing. <laughs> shower framework, shower oh, curtain no. rail. Finish in the bathroom, hopefully. All in a week. Uh, well, if you don't want to miss us sort of powering through all that stuff, make sure you subscribe. It's the best way to support our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you think we've missed anything glaringly obvious. And um, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.